Hi, I'm Daniel Sousa and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is problem set 2. Here's your first problem. Problem 1. A fires 5 shots to B's 3, but A kills only once in 3 shots, while B kills once every 2 shots. If B has missed 27 times, how many has A killed? Alright, now for the first problem what they say is A takes 5 shots for every time that B takes 3 shots. Right? So now, in the time that B would take 3 shots, A would have taken 5 shots. So A takes more shots than B. Right? Now they also say that A manages to kill 1 every 3 shots. Right? Now 1 animal, whatever it is, we don't care. And B manages to kill 1 every 2 shots. Now, the data if you write from this is the killing ratio for A will be 1 every 3 shots. So 1 third of the time he will kill. And he will miss. Missing ratio will be 1 minus 1 by 3. That is 2 by 3, right? So we'll just erase this and write here 2 by 3. Similarly, for B, the kill ratio will be 1 by 2, right? 1 every 2 shots. And the miss will be 1 minus 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2 itself, right? Now, now the also, they also say that B misses 27 times. And they've asked you A kills how much, right? Now, B misses 27 times, right? Now, we know that for B, the kill ratio and the miss ratio is the same. So, as many times as he misses, he will kill the same number of times. So, if he's missed 27 times, he will have also killed 27 times. Right? Okay. Now, we've got this. Now, you know that the total number of shots will be the misses plus the kills. Right? So, misses is 27. And kills is 27. So altogether, he is taking 54 shots. So just to recap, 54 shots, right? Now, he kills one every two shots. So 54 shots, half the time he is killed, half the time he is missed. Okay, this makes sense. Now we know that B has taken 54 shots. Now I'll just erase this. Okay, now we know that B has taken 54 shots. Now we need to find how many, how many shots has A taken and accordingly find how, how many A has killed. Now we know that the ratio of A to B is 5 is to 3 in terms of shots. So now if you write it, it will become 5 is to 3 is the same as, now A we don't know, right? A how many shots is taken we don't know. But B we know he has taken 54 shots. Now by rule, we know that 5 into 54 will be equal to 3 into x. So 5 into 54 will be equal to 3 into x. So x is equal to 5 into 54 divided by 3. The 1s are, 1s are, 2s are, 8. So 18 into 5, 90. So now we know that A has taken 90 shots. But the problem is not over. They've asked you that how many has A killed? We know that A kills 1 every 3 shots. So 1 third. So 1 third of his shots, he will have killed. So Finally, A kills one third of his total shots. So one third of the total shots is 90. So one third of 90 is 30. So the number of kills that A has got is 30. Let's go into problem number two. Problem two. Subtracting 40% of a number from the number, we get the result as 30. The number is? All right, now for problem number two, they've said that 40% of a number, when subtracted from itself, will give you 30. They've asked you to find the number. So what you do is, first you assign the number as x, right? Now from the now from the equation, from the information that they've given you. So now they've said that 40% of a number when subtracted from itself will give you 30. So first write the number x. Subtract 40%. 40% is 40 over 100 of the number, right? 40% of x is equal to 30. Now 40 over 100 is 0.4, right? So x minus 0.4x is equal to 30. Now x to take common, 1 minus 0.4 is equal to 30. Now 1 minus 0.4 is 0.6. So x into 0.6 is equal to 30. So x will be equal to 30 over 0.6. Now if you don't like the point, what you do is you just eliminate the point and you add a 0 on top. Right? So 6 1s are 6 5s are 30, 0. So implies the number is 50. Easy? Let's go into problem number 3. Problem 3. The fourth proportional to 5, 8, and 15 is? Alright, now the third sum is based on proportions. They've said 
fourth proportional to 5, 8, and 15 is what? Right? So now, this is based on proportions. Now, I've explained this topic in detail in my lecture, Ratio and Proportions, Part 1. So you might want to go and watch that. Now, just for a recap, proportions are basically A is to B is the same as C is to D. Right? Now, the first and last terms are known as extremes. And the middle terms are known as the means. So the property that we need to know now for this sum is that the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. So now, this is known as the first proportional, second, third, and fourth. So now, we know the first, second, and third, but we don't know the fourth. That's what they're asking you. So if you write it as a proportion, you will get 5 is to 8 is the same as 15 is to x. Right? x is our fourth proportional. Now we apply the rule of proportions. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. So if you multiply these two, it should be equal to the product of these two. So 5x is equal to 8 into 15. So x is equal to 8 into 15 divided by 5. So 5 ones are 5 threes are. So 8 threes are 24. So the fourth proportion is 24. Let's go on to problem number 4. Problem 4. The simple interest on rupees 10 for 4 months at the rate of 3 paise per rupee per month is? Alright, now the fourth problem is based on simple interest, right? So, what they've given you is that 10 rupees is invested for 4 months and the rate is 3 paise per rupee per month. Now, what you see is, usually for simple interest problems, you are used to seeing a rate as some percentage, either 8% or 10% or 2% or something like that with the percentage sign. But here is different. Here they've given you 3 paise per rupee per month. So now, when you have a problem like this, you don't use SI is equal to PTR upon 100. Because this formula is based on when R is given to you in percentage. Here R is not given to you in percentage. So forget this formula completely. Now what we'll do is we'll just calculate this orally. We don't even need a formula. So now, R is equal to 3 paise per rupee per month. Right? So 3 paise per rupee. Right? Now, but the investment here is 10 rupees. So if you multiply this by 10, right, 10 rupees. So what will be the paise for this? Into 10. Same thing. So 30 paise for 10 rupees. Now this is per month, right? So per month they get 30 paise. But he is invested for 4 months. So for 4 months it will be 30 into 4. So 120 paise. Which is equal to 1.2 rupees. This is it. Alright, so this was problem set 2. If you found this video helpful, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you share it with your friends so that I can reach out to as many students as possible. Cheers! To get unlimited access to all my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Monday. Until then, spread the knowledge.